This question says, Bradley received $5,000 from his grandmother. He invested three-fourths of the money. Part A. How much did he invest? Let's read the question one more time. It says, Bradley received $5,000 from his grandmother. He invested three-fourths of the money. So how much of the money did he invest? He invested three-fourths of it. Now part A says, how much money did he invest? In order to find out how much money he invested, so we're going to have to multiply the total amount of money Bradley received, which was $5,000, by the fraction, which is going to be three-fourths. Now when we set this problem up, it's going to look like this. We can say 5,000 multiply by 3 over 4. Now we're going to have to simplify this. Now there are many ways you can simplify this. The way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to turn 5,000 into a fraction by putting it over 1. So we know anytime we're multiplying fractions, we're just going to multiply. So we have 5,000 times 3 over 1 times 4. 5,000 times 3 is going to give us 15,000 over 4. Now we have 15,000 divided by 4. Let's use long division. So we can set this problem up to look like this. We know 4 cannot go into 1, but 4 can go into 15 3 times. 4 times 3 is 12. When we subtract this, 5 minus 2 is going to give us 3. And we know 1 minus 1 is 0. So we're just going to bring down this 0. 4 can go into 30 7 times. 4 times 7 is 28. When we subtract this, 30 minus 28 is going to give us 2. Now we're going to bring down the next digit, which is also a 0. 4 can go into 20 5 times. 4 times 5 is 20. Now when we subtract this, 20 minus 20 is going to give us 0. And we're going to bring down our last digit, which is also a 0. 4 can go into 0, 0 times. 4 times 0 is 0. And when we subtract this, 0 minus 0 is going to give us 0. Therefore, the division is now complete. 15,000 divided by 4 is going to give us the answer 3,750. Now don't forget to write your answer in the space provided. So for part A, how much money did he invest? We know the answer is going to be $3,750. Now for part B, it says Bradley invested the money for two years at a simple interest rate of 5% per annum. Calculate the interest earned. Well, let's read the question one more time. It says Bradley invested the money for two years at a simple interest rate. Now stop right there. These two words, simple interest, tells you everything you need to know. Once you see simple interest, you should start to smile because we're just going to use the formula. Now we know the formula for simple interest is going to be simple interest equals principal times rate times time. Now, what is the principal in this situation? Well, we know the principal is going to be the money either invested or borrowed. And we know he invested from part A, $3,750. So we're going to use the answer for part A as the principal. We can say $3,750 multiplied by the rate. Now, the rate is going to be a percentage. Let's read the question one more time. It says Bradley invested the money for two years at a simple interest rate 
of 5%. So we know the rate is going to be 5%. So we're going to multiply by 5%. Now we just have to multiply by the time. And we know the time is going to be 2 years. So we're just going to multiply by 2. Now when you start to solve for this, you can either change the percent into a fraction or change it into a decimal. The way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to change it into a fraction. And when I change it into a fraction, we're going to write it over 100. So we can write this now as 3750 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2, all of this over 100. Now let's try to simplify this. So we know this 0 can cancel out with this 0. Therefore, we're left with 375 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2 over 10. Now we know 2 can go into 2 one time and 2 can go into 10 five times leaving us with 375 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 1 over 5. We know 5 can go into 5 one time and 5 can go into 5 one time again. Therefore, we're left with 375 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 over 1. And we should always remember any number multiplied by 1 is going to give us that number. Therefore, we know 375 multiplied by 1 is just going to give us 375 over 1. And we should also remember any number divided by 1 is going to give us that number. So we have 375 divided by 1. Therefore, that's going to give us 375. And we know this is going to be $375. So this is going to be our answer for this problem. In the answer space provided, we're just going to write $375. That is going to be the interest earned when Bradley invested the money for two years at a simple interest rate of 5% per annum. And remember, when you see this word per annum, it just means per year. So don't get confused. So this is how you solve a problem like this.